Hello and welcome to another Destiny 2 update video. As you all know, Destiny 2's new DLC has pushed back to November. But on the bright side, there are some super exciting news update to cover. Based on the brand new gameplay trailer just released in collaboration with Xbox earlier this week. So without wasting any time, let's jump straight into it. trailer showcasing so much information about the new super ability and the new grenade you can do so much with the new uh, stasis ability that is insane I'll break down every single aspect we could see on this trailer so the trailer begins with three guardians from each class walking in our brand new destination Europa covered in snow on the previous trailers we did see that Eris Morum was wielding the power of darkness from ice, so there is no surprise the new subclasses we are going to see in future is based on the ice element. Then as we go alone, it looks like a fallen captain with some icy sword wielding the dark power uh, stasis. Of course all enemies have access to the same elemental power that we have access to. Next up, there are some more amazing views from Europa and views from the giant pyramids, what it looks like the entrance of the pyramids. So onto the next slide, we can see some guardians and some new weapons on their back. If you look close, what it looks like a very interesting weapon behind the titan. Seems to me it could be a new exotic, we'll see some more of gameplay of that weapon later in the trailer. As we go along, here is the most exciting part of the trailer. We can see the Titan wielding his brand new super. When he activates the super, he gets his fist of ice on his both hand. Then we can see when he smashes the ground like Hulk, uh, it's a flow of icy walls goes forward and destroys everything, whatever comes on its way. This new stasis base super looks like a fist of havoc, but instead of the area of the effect is round, this super area of effect goes directly in front of you and goes quite farther as well. At this point guys, when the trailer shows create, things goes outlandish. Up until this point of destiny history, we know grenades are to kill enemies. But now if you look closely, a hunter throwing one of the new stasis grenade on the wall and it turns into a platform where everyone can jump onto it. Think of all the possibilities that this could bring to our gameplay. I mean, think of all the raids and the jumping puzzle, although I'm not sure about if it does any damage to the enemies. There is a bit more of the grenades gameplay coming later on this video so stay on. Moving on to our next scene we can see a hunter then activates his super. What it looks like on activation the hunter is throwing two pickaxes to the enemies down below and from there what it looks like the new super has similar movement and the animation to the hunter's solar super blade barrage that we already use in. But of course here we have two little pickaxes instead of two solar knives. Moving on to our next scene, where we can see a guardian holding a cool looking legendary red weapon. I believe this is the same weapon that Bungie revealed during a charity event, which meant to be a legendary weapon. Then the same guardian throws a different grenade to a bunch of fallen and all enemies that goes past that aura literally freezes. Now it, go, it seems to me that the grenade doesn't do any damage, rather it freezes the movement of the enemy. So it can do a AOE damage or some sort of and kill the whole bunch of enemies together definitely different type of ability that we have never seen in Destiny before. Now moving on to our next scene, we get to see some PvP gameplays. 
on Widow's Call, where we can see a hunter running, then he throws a grenade on the ground and that literally builds a whole icy wall in front of him. This could be the same grenade we have seen earlier footage or could be a different one. Remember there are normally three types of grenade to choose from that comes with each subclasses. Now literally after that you can see the hunter then throws some icy knives at some other guardians. Then the knives hits the enemies, it freezes them. What I'm actually more excited to see is one of those guardian, the titan was in the middle of Fist of Habit and the knife stopped him in the middle of the super literally. I think that is an awesome news for some of the PvP players. Anyway, moving up to the next frame of the video, where you can see the ward shatter. What well, it seems to me a warlock with the icy stuff throwing some sort of icy balls. Which seems to me it is some sort of melee ability from a warlock. Then right after that we can see a titan comes charging to those enemies from the right. Definitely in some sort of ability. Could be a stasis version of the new titan shoulder charge. Let me know what do you think in the comment section. Right after that we see a hunter coming from the top and slams the ground. And with that it damages all the nearby enemies. It potentially could be another hunter melee ability which is similar to a warlock phonix dive from the downblade tree but this time around it does damage to the enemies and if you look at both gameplay footage their movement and animation is similar now from there moving on to our next frame we can see another use of warlock stuff freezing some enemies then a titan comes from the left and literally breaks those icy enemies as we have already seen hunter and titan's new stasis super this is time for showcasing warlock super you can see on this frame of the video our warlock basically floats in the air holding the stuff in the air all the way and does aoe damage from the video, it does seem like the Warlock super ability has some circular AoE effect where it probably does overtime damage to those who are in that area or whenever he holds their staff in the air. Moving on to our next frame where we have more clear shots of the Titan melee or shoulder charge. What we have seen earlier, you can clearly see it here that it was definitely a shoulder charge style melee ability from Titan. And near the end of the trailer, we can see the same weapon on one of the Titans back, what initially we thought to be an exotic weapon. Some footage of the gameplay from that weapon. What to me, it looks like it has a similar animation of the tractor cannon around instead it shoots some icy stasis elements bullet last of all showcasing all three characters and the new stasis subclasses all together well guys that was all from the trailer you could potentially make some amazing builds and fun builds with this new subclasses as soon as i know more about the upcoming dlc i'll let you guys know if you like to see more upcoming Destiny 2 news and updates, please subscribe to my channel. That helps me and that will help you keep updated. Thank you for watching.